Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are developing a report in which we will make use of new syntaxes and in the previous video we finished with the full logic part. Now what we will do will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, how the whole logic is working, so you will get the complete idea. Because there are so many participants, those who are not following the previous videos, they are directly learning the new syntaxes. So we will cover each and everything from the debugging perspective also. So what I will do, I'll just put a breakpoint on the first executable statement. I will run this particular report. Suppose I will go for single date only. Suppose I will go for 20th August. I will go for execute. And parallelly, I will open the tables also. We will understand each and everything how the logic is working. I will go for desktop 3 most preferable desktop. Your input is on the right hand side. It will go to VBAKER that column. It will fetch the VBELN and data will come into this internal table. Just see in this internal table, you have zero records and you have one column. You can see as of now, zero records and one column. Parallelly, we'll understand in the tables also. So this is your VBAK table. Suppose if I will go to contents and now I am putting the date as 20th August. I will execute. You can see we have three VBELN for the 20th August, 71, 72, 73. We'll see here, are we getting same to same? I am executing this query F6. You can see in this internal table, we have 71, 72, 73. Okay, it is not in solid order. That's not a problem. Yes. So you can see we have three records. Everything is fine. It means up to this level, everything is fine. Your if condition is true because your internal table is not initial. Internal table is not blank. Internal table is not null because we have three records into this internal table. I am doing F6. Now, what is your second query? You are fetching that data of five columns from VBAP. Data will come into this internal table, but on what basis for all entries in, in this internal table? You can see we have for all data into this internal table and we are referring which column? Internal table VBELN column. This internal table which column? VBELN. What, is the, what are the values? 71, 72, 73. These three values will go to which column VBELN or which table VBAP. So now I will go to VBAP table. This is your VBAP table. Okay. I will go to contents. So what is the input? 71, 72, 73. 71, 72, 73. I will exit. Now we want how many columns? We'll see those also. Settings. Formal list, choose fields. I will deselect everything. We want postnar, matenar. We'll go for kwmeng and vrkme. I will go for these columns. I will go to execute. And now we will compare that data. I am executing this query using F6. Now you can see we have three records into this internal table. Do you have three records? Yes. Now we will match that data. 71, 72, 73. Okay, 71, 72, 73. Okay, suppose we'll go for 71. 71, 10, 42 material number, 3500, or you can say unit of measurement EA. 
similarly for 72, similarly for 73. Everything is fine. It means our second query is also working fine. Now, control come here. If internal table is not initial, yes, this is true condition because we have three records into this internal table. Now we are passing that data to temporary internal table. As of now, temporary internal table blank. Now you can see we have three records into this temporary internal table. Three records. Now we are sorting this internal table based upon Matena. Anyways, we have only one material number 42. So you can see after sorting, yes, it is same to same. We have 42 material number. Now we are deleting the adjacent duplicates, comparing the Matena. So whenever you will just delete the adjacent duplicates, comparing Matena. So two records will delete because we are only comparing Matena. We are not comparing other things. So we'll ref left with only which particular record, one record because we have unique Matena is 42. Now if I will do F6. Now you can see in this internal table, we have only the one record 42. Now, now we are fetching data from MAKT table based upon this temporary internal table. And in this temporary internal table, we are taking which column? Matena. Just see that we have written the logic in this way. Temporary internal table Matena. And we are passing the language also. What is the language? English. Now I will go to MAKT table and show. I will go to MAKT table. I will display this table. I will go to contents. What is the material number? 42. But we are passing language also. Language is English. I will execute. And you can see we are getting a single record. Material number 42, description steel. If I will see here, we'll see here, I'm executing this query. You can see in this LT underscore MAKT, I have 42 material description state. So up to this level, our queries are working fine. Now we will understand this looping part. Now, this first internal table has three reports. It means outer loop. This loop will continue how many times? Three times. This inner loop has three records. So this inner loop will also continue how many times? Three times. It means for every outer record, for every record of outer loop, inner loop will continue three times. It means three plus three plus three, nine times. That's why we are saying whenever you have loops, you have to go for parallel cursor. Anyways, if you do not have knowledge of parallel cursor, you can learn from a BAP programming part to playlist. As of now, I have not applied the parallel cursor here. Now, first record from the internal table will go to work area. You can see side tab x1. This side tab x1 is for this particular loop. It means first record of this internal table move to work area. If I will show you work area, you can see in this work area, we have 72. Now, it will check into this internal table. Okay, where VBELN is equal to 72. Now it will go to this internal table. Do you have 72? Yes, we have 72. So this record from this internal table will go to work area. Which work area? LWABBAP. You can see this work area is blank as of now. Whenever I will do F6, you can see in this work area, we have 72 material numbers. Now, now we are going for table expression. It will check into this internal table, into this LT underscore MAKT internal table. Do you have a line with material number 42? Yes, we have a line. So this if condition, true. When this if condition is true, we are using table expression. We are in from this internal table. What is the matena? 42 into this internal table where the matenar is 42, we are passing it to work area. We are passing the data to work area. You can see this work area blank as of now. So whenever I will do F6, 
the record will go to work area. Now you can see in this LWA MAKT, we have 42 and steel. Now we are passing everything to this final work area. LWA output is blank as of now. We are passing each and everything, means VBELN from this particular, if I will simply delete, you can see VBELN, POSNAR, we have KWMENG, VRKME, MATENAR, and MAKTX. These six things we are passing to which work area? LWA output. And you can see into this particular variable, particular work area, sorry. If I will do F6, you can see we have everything is there. Now we are appending it to internal table. If I will do F6, you can see into this internal table, we have the first record for 72 material number. And you can see we are setting a flag to capital X. I already explained why we are doing this. We set this flag to capital X and we are clearing all the work areas. Done. Now people think this inner loop will not continue now, but inner loop will continue for this also, this also. But this if condition is failed because we are going for material number 72. So based upon the where condition, this logic will not execute. So done. Now your flag, your flag is X. It means this logic will not execute. And now we are clearing the flag also. So we have first record into this final internal table. Similarly, the logic will execute for material number 71 also. Now suppose if I will go for second iteration. Now the second record will go to work area. Now, what is the second record? You have met, you have sales document number 71. Now it will check into this internal table. Where is 71? This is the 71. So this record will go to work area. Whenever this record will go to work area, you can see into this work area. Now VBAP, you have 71. Now it will check into this internal table, LT underscore MAKT. Do you have a material number 42? Yes, because we have a single material number. So this if condition, true. So we are passing the material number and description to this work area. Now everything we are passing it to final work area. From final work area, we are passing it to final internal table. You can see in this final work area, we have the data of six column. Now for sales document number 71, and we are appending it to final internal table. And you can see we have two records. Now, similarly, this whole logic will continue for material number LT underscore BBAK. Now for, for this sales document number 73. Sorry, for material number, for sales document number 73, not material number. So now, whenever this whole loop will execute, now I will put a breakpoint here. Now I will not show the third iteration. Anyways, I explained the two iterations for two sales document number. Now you can see into this final internal table, you have three records. You have material, you have sales document number 71, sales document number 72, sales document number 73. Now we are preparing the field catalog. Our data is into this internal table. Now we are preparing the field catalog. Now we have used the value operator and you can see into this LT underscore field cat. We have six records, VBELN, POSNAR, MATENAR, KWMENG, VRKME and MAKTX. And you can see the labels also. We have the labels. Now, into this internal table, you have data. Into this internal table, you have the field catalog. Now we are binding these two things. We are passing it to reuse ALB grid display function for it. I am doing F6. And you can see we have the expected output. So this is the way 
how you can develop a report based upon the new syntaxes. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, why, is, why this one is coming? Because I forgot to remove that. I will remove that part. So do not confuse that. I'll comment this. Sorry. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in that debugging mode. By mistake, I, uh, I by mistake, uh, rather than sales order, yes, I use the word material, but I use the word material number. So you can ignore that part. Now, after that, I explained each and everything in that debugging mode, how this logic is working. Now, if you see this particular report, in terms of new syntaxes, what we did, we used the inline data declarations. We used the all host variables prefixed with at the rate. Whenever you are writing the columns, we have used the comma separated list, comma separated, because you all know columns are separated by comma into this new features of open SQL. After that, we studied how to use value expression, how to use table expression. So in this particular report, if we talk about the major things in terms of new syntaxes, we have used the inline data declaration. We have written the open SQL by using the new features of open SQL. We use the table expression and we use the value expression based upon the so this is all about the report which we developed by, by using the new syntaxes. So that's it in this video. Thank you.